Maybe I'm just nostalgic Or maybe it's truly magical oh, oh, oh. When I see that castle The feeling is truly magical Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just nostalgic Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's truly magic Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just nostalgic I'm Andrew. And I'm Brooke. And this is a Disneydo podcast. On October 25th, 1997, Disney Channel premiered Under Wraps, a comedy about a group of kids who discover a mummy in a basement. And thus, the Disney Channel original movie was born. Since that day, there have been over 100 Disney Channel original movies and even more on the horizon. Yeah, I do believe they happened a little bit before 1997. I, uh, based on my recollection of Disney Channel original movies, there were some prior. I want to say there was like a little break, but I remember Wish Upon a Star and Suzy Q and a few others that were Disney Channel originals. Actually, I think Wish Upon a Star was the true original. Uh, Suzy Q came out before Wish Upon a Star. I'm pretty sure, or within like the same year, I want to say it was like 95, 96. So, I guess so, I'm looking at the list, and those movies that you just named are considered, um, where did it go? Disney Channel premiere films, yeah. oh. not original movies. Oh, there's another layer. So that throws a little bit of a wrench. Well, I hope that my list does not consist of Disney Channel premiere movies and is only Disney Channel original films. Well, la di da I know that mine contains <laughs> premiere again. films and not original. I would, um, as a quick disclaimer, yeah. the dogs are in the room with us. So my bulldog and my pit bull are both here. So if you hear chewing, whining, general dog business, it's just them. It's just the dogs. I'm being licked as we speak. Hello, Coda. Hello. <laughs> oh, but now you got the other one. Uh-oh. Oh, oh there we okay. go. They're gonna now they're the going to play. You're gonna hear, you're, you might hear them play in the background. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we're going to discuss our favorite Disney Channel original or premiere movies. Brooke, um, so since I started the top five Disney list, why don't you start this one? And let's start with your number five. Let's start with number five. So my number five was Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. Um, I I thought so. My main reason for really enjoying that movie, I had, um, so the boy from Toy Soldiers was in it, and at the time I had a little bit of a crush on him, but more than that was, um, what was his name? The band, the band in the, in the film was Protozoa, and I forget the lead singer's name, but he was, you know, very 2000 chic, and I was into him <laughs> <gasps> at my young age. That's a, was that song? Was it Zoom, Zoom, Zoom? Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Yes. Make my heart go boom, boom, my supernova I love that girl. Song. Yeah, so I loved that. I thought it was really fun. To me, it felt very futuristic, despite, you know, being obviously just a Disney Channel original. But I think that one's a classic, at least for kids my age, born in the 90s. Yeah, I I actually almost put Xenon on my top five list. Obviously, just the original Xenon, you know, not Xenon yes, 2. Not Xenon the, the sequel. sequel. <laughs> as soon as that shit, I saw that on, I remember seeing that, come on, the sequel, and I'm like, really? Mm-hmm. We're going to call it the sequel? Catchy, but no, didn't take. Very original. Yes. Well, Disney Channel original. <laughs> <laughs> just like the top five songs list. My list is not quite in an appropriate order. It's more of just what are the top five most prominent Disney movies? Yeah, just your favorite ones. You know, this one I can say is probably fine being the top five. The other ones get a little harder. And that one is going to be the Cheetah Girls. Oh my gosh. Cheetah Girls. The Cheetah Girls. The Cheetah Girls was a... First off, loved that so Raven. So Raven and Cheetah Girls is is just amazing. She's, She's one of the best. And uh, that was a movie that me and my younger sister would watch, and it was fun. We'd sing along to it, enjoy it, watch it on repeat when it was on. And that's just one of those that really stuck out to me in in my my, my Disney Channel original movie life. My best friend and I, um, we would sometimes pretend to be the Cheetah Girls. (laughs) And we were a little older when that came out. Like, not super old, but I think, like, maybe a little older than their target audience. Yeah, and I I was, I mean, you were a couple years older than me. Mm -hmm. My sister was three-ish younger, three-ish years younger than me. 
so I think she was like right at that target age. I was still watching some Disney here and there, Hannah Montana, things like that. I never got into Hannah Montana. That's a different story. That's that's my low key Miley Cyrus crush coming out. <laughs> but yeah, Cheetah Girls had a lot of good music in it. That was a very good movie about friendship and and being there for each other and mm-hmm. and, and sticking through the tough times that life yeah. throws at you. With a little bit of drama. We always love a little bit of drama. Of course. Who doesn't? I watch Bravo all the time. <laughs> um, number four. So for this one, I feel like this one's a little bit more um, obscure. So Ooh. I kind of feel like a Disney Channel original hipster right now. Um, unless it's wildly popular and I never knew. But who didn't love the Lawrence brothers? Joey Lawrence, Matthew Lawrence, Andrew Lawrence. Yeah. Let me tell you how I was actually just looking at all three of their Instagrams last week. Ooh. Still into them. Very adorable men. Um, so anyway, they star in this one. It's called Horse Sense. Yes. So it combines <laughs> a lot of my favorite things, like the Lawrence brothers and horses. So... I used to watch this movie obsessively every time it was on. Like, I would lose my mind if I missed it. I was obsessed. <laughs> I just loved watching Joey Lawrence gallop around on this horse. It was great. And, I mean, Matthew Lawrence was my favorite of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I still think he's the cutest one. But, yeah, it was like my weird little schoolgirl, like, crush. Like, the trilogy of crushes were all in this film. And there were horses. My favorite. I've been riding since I was nine. Like, this was perfect for me. It was like, oh, that's a girl crack right there in a movie. Yeah, it is girl crack. <laughs> it is like nine-year-old girl crack. It really is. Horses and cute boys. Yes, horses, <laughs> cute boys. Oh. I uh, I remember that one a little bit. I think I probably saw it a couple times. And in doing some of my research to, and refreshing on these films, I uh, I stumbled across a couple clips of that. And... Um, I was like, oh, damn, look at them. Right? Didn't remember that. Damn, look at them. They were in a few um, movies that Disney Channel did, I think. Uh, like, they were in Shipwrecked when they got, like, obviously stranded on that island after their shipwrecked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what it was. Not Shipwrecked. Jumping Ship. And they, were, I don't know if it was a Disney Channel original, but they were all three in another movie about, um, like, being on the frontier. I don't know if it was called The Frontier or some. It was something like that. I remember Andrew Lawrence wearing a raccoon tail hat. Mm-hmm. Brothers of the Frontier. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> frontier. Bro- Brothers of the Frontier. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Was not a Disney Channel original, but I ain't crazy. All right. So that that's my number um, four is Horse Sense. So go for it, Andrew. Okay. Number four is... Luck of the Irish. Dude, that that uh, actor, he was in a couple things. I looked him up. Re- I looked him up. He was in Smart House, wasn't he? Smart House? Yes. The other Disney yes. Channel original. Which is also a very good movie, I must say. It is. I really like that movie. So Luck of the Irish, why'd you pick that one? Luck of the Irish. Um, that was just a really fun movie. Um, I love the whole storyline of it have a little bit of Irish heritage in me, so there was that fun element. And um Your last name is Welch, aren't you just Welsh? Surprisingly they're two different things. And Welch can actually be of Irish, Scottish, or Yo, English. Yeah, Scottish heritage. What? What what? what? <laughs> um But this is strictly Irish, speaking of luck of the Irish. And um you know, it starts with him kind of losing that family coin thing that was on his necklace and all the shit that happens to that movie like his mom shrunken down dancing on the table like little that's, things like that it's kind of creepy creepy but i remember that as being fun and hilarious back in the day and one of my favorite lines is from that movie and it's when the grandfather says potatoes <laughs> and it's stuck with me and i don't know why but because that word and that stupid little phrase has stuck with me just that, potatoes that yes Potatoes. Because he had a potato chip factory. That reminds me of um, the Lord of the Rings when Samwise and Frodo are are venturing (laughs) and he's like, potatoes. Dogs. It's that same kind of thing. Blessing and a curse. Honestly, the look of the Irish really uh, scared me. Really? Leprechauns in general. I think it's just from those really creepy leprechaun movies that exist. Mm -hmm. Just kind of freak me out. You know... Most of them, especially like the movie Leprechaun, terrifying. 
freaky. Yeah, I get the idea of it being freaky. It just did. Yeah, that one never sat well with me. That's probably the only leprechaun related film that I do like. I mean, it's probably the only one worth liking. Yeah. Quite honestly. Yeah. So my third one is a premiere movie, so I'm not going to talk about it, but it was Wish Upon a Star. Um, So I'm going to switch it to one of my honorable mentions, all of which are Disney Channel originals. (laughs) And I'm actually, I think I was going to do Johnny Tsunami, but I think I'm going to do the 13th year instead for my number three. I, I watched that one a lot more. I had a crush on on that actor. Mm-hmm. I don't see little girls. I'm all just about like, oh, who's cute? <laughs> yeah. um, so Hi. I liked him. I also loved mermaids. I thought it was really interesting that, you know, a, there was a merman. I really mm-hmm. didn't like the, the love interest in that, though. Maybe I was subconsciously jealous at like nine years old. Possibly. But really didn't like her. But I loved the rest of that movie and, and the mermaid in it. It was a little splash-esque and I enjoy that. It brings in, you know, the, the facets of Ariel. Yes. And, and that's also fun. It's funny because you're mentioning a 13th year. That didn't even come up in any of the stuff I was looking at or really click with me. But as you just described it, I remember that movie and I'm seeing like different scenes from it. And when I gets, do like, remember the, the scales yes, on his skin. That's actually a really great movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's on my honorable mention list yeah. now. Cause yeah. The, the thirteenth year is really good. I I was always so creeped out when he got like the the, the fins mm-hmm. and the scales on him. And he was like and, the son he was in high school or something. Yeah. Yes. He's adopted and he's yes. like a great swimmer. He starts growing a tail. Like yeah. and they put him in the bathtub and he's like drying out. Oh my god. That was very, you know, intense at, you know, eight, nine years old. What was that about? Were they like was that like a metaphor for puberty? I don't know. He was his mother was a mermaid. And she, like, put him in this basket, and his parents, like, were on a, a boat, I believe. Mm-hmm. And they found him. And I think they were trying to, like, catch his mom when it happened. Something oh, yeah, like you find that. that out towards the end, right? Yeah. And they adopt him and raise him. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he's a little, little merbaby. So he grows a tail. Now i got to watch that one again. I know. I haven't seen that in years. Yeah, I probably haven't seen it since I was a kid. But see, part of the reason I love doing this podcast and talking about these things is the nostalgia that brings up and I all know. the memories that just instantly flood into my mind. When would you like normally think about these things and, and be able to discuss them? Exactly. Yeah. Over wine at Over that with wine. dogs at our laps. I was going to say with puppies just being loud in the background. We have tonight a rosé of Malbec from Argentina, which is the only place apparently you should get Malbec. And uh, Thank you, Matt. This Not producer one, Matt for that. This one is fun. This is a nice little blend of things. I think it's good for the warmer weather. I'm not a fan of white wines. And I feel like red wine is just not good for this beautiful weather. We're having something a little lighter. Yeah, it's a nice little blend. So a rosé. Mm-hmm. Lisa Vanderpump would approve. A mature rosé. Yeah. We are very mature. Okay. <laughs> we're in our 20s and we're doing a Disney podcast and drinking mature <laughs> wine, all right? Sitting in a Pocahontas tank. Yeah, I'm wearing and a Pocahontas socks. tank. Mismatched frozen socks. <laughs> Pocahontas tank top. I'm, I'm a oh, mess. The sitting Indian style looks really comfortable. I'm about to switch my game up. See? Nostalgia. Sit Indian style. Oh, that's not... Back that's when you could say Indian style, not that damn crisscross applesauce bullshit. What is that? That's what they tell kids these days? Yeah. This is crisscross applesauce? Crazy math and crisscross applesauce. <laughs> no wonder they're eating Tide Pods, right? Right? I was going to say, <laughs> they are all kinds of messed up. <laughs> oh, anyways. Your number three. My What's number it going to be? My number three is going to be motocross. Oh. <gasps> I liked that one, too. That was another one I forgot about that came back in. And that is a story of what was it, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, Andrea. Mm-hmm. And she just damn wanted to ride motocross. She cross-dressed. She did. Mm-hmm. She cross-dressed and cut her hair and, you know, went against the grain, against the norm and fucking conquered everything. Yeah. She was Her voice wasn't very Convincing. believable as no. a man. But, you know, but that's the point she did it. the damn thing. Yeah. While still, like, you know, getting the man in the end. The little Which bad is boy. obviously not important, ladies. You don't need a man in the end. You don't need no man, honey. But it's cool when you get him anyway. It can be a bonus. <laughs> it can be. Especially when you beat him at something he's passionate about. And he's digging you for it. I know. He's like, oh, she beat me. Sometimes they like that. And she could really rock that haircut. 
Yeah, I so it it's weird watching it when she has the long hair and then she goes short because like seeing her with the long hair is weird. People. Yeah, yeah, I prefer her with the short hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really interesting. I feel like you could never actually get away with that in real life, though. Um, Let me just you know falsify my identity and pretend to be my brother. Yeah. Has anything like that really happened? I'm sure it has, but... I've used my brother's ID to buy alcohol. Well, it's a little different than, like, blatantly just, you know, taking his identity, talking to his friends. That's true. And And how do the friends, like... How do people not notice? <laughs> that now that I'm thinking thing. about it, that movie is kind of bullshit. <laughs> it is. It's a, like nobody notices that his face is radically changed and his <laughs> voice is super off and that like his sister is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Which, I don't know. Yeah. There's, I, I don't know. That's what it was. Oh, sis. I, but it was really fun to watch. <laughs> it was. It was really fun it was to a watch. Really, it was a very engaging movie. It kept you going. Yeah, it did. That's one I could probably watch again and enjoy. Oh, yeah. I could totally I like, watch I, that now I and like probably kind of crack up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just love it. I wanted the track in my yard, though. That would have been nice. So I just Googled girl, girl pretends to be boy to see if I could Mulan. find... Mulan. To see if I could find anything. <laughs> that, <laughs> there's this headline. Girl pretends to be boy in tweet photo to make boyfriend jealous. <laughs> oh, that was actually... That was a good meme that came out recently. A good meme that came out recently. All right, I'm going to move into my number two. Yeah, time for number two. Number two, which could have easily been my number one, but this movie is fantastic. There's a whole festival for it in Washington, I believe. Oh. It's Halloween Town. <gasps> Let's be real. Marnie and the gang's going back to Halloween Town, and I love it. I'm here for it. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. It's so... For, you know, when I was younger, like I didn't think it was cheesy at all. And I recently, like two years ago, got it on DVD and rewatched it. <laughs> and I was still enraptured by it. <laughs> it didn't feel tacky. It didn't feel cheesy. It didn't feel childish to Mm-mm. me. And I think because my nostalgia is so strong with that film. But I was obsessed. When it came out, like right around Halloween, oh my God, I watched that a million times. That one, that one's right up there with Hocus Pocus for me. As far as well, like, we're not. We're not H- Hocus Pocus. Oh, let's Hocus hold on Pocus a second. needs its own. Uh, yeah, Hocus Pocus is in a episode. league of its own. But it is number two for me. This as is far the, as this is Halloween the poor movies. man's Hocus Pocus. It is, and I mean that in a respectful way. Yes, it, to be the poor man's Hocus Pocus. That's is still good. A high honor. You're doing something right. Yeah. I love it. All the characters in that were awesome. Mm-hmm. Storyline was good. Yes. The troll. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, they did really good with the makeup. And, uh, you know, you said about, you know, being at this age now, it's good to watch. And I think especially all the different characters they had and, you know, gave nods to, you know, scary movies and stories mm-hmm. all, pretty much all through time. Everybody of all ages is going to be able to watch that and engage in. I like that they something. really um, personified all of, like these villains and scary yes. people. Like you see... You know, the the vampires getting the tooth pulled and the werewolf getting a haircut. Like, it just makes those things not scary. Yeah. And I that was, you know, kind of magical as a kid. Because mm-hmm. you still believe in some of that scary stuff. So you're like, oh, werewolf's getting a haircut? Like, that's not so bad. Yeah. You know, vampires getting a tooth pulled? Like, oh, that's not so bad. That was before vampires became really lame thanks to Twilight. Yeah. But, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love Halloween Town. It's so fun. That one is well deserved on a list. I, you know, I almost put Halloween Town on my top five, but was like, you know what? I have a feeling we'll probably, knowing our wonderful producer Matt Kelly, have a themed Halloween month for Disney, and so I'm just going to talk about we talk Hocus about Pocus the whole time. Yeah, that's the whole month, guys. Get ready, it's Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I'm waiting for the one movie to pop up on your list. I know. It's probably your number one, and it irritates me. Uh, that's why it's my number and one. And I'm waiting. <laughs> and I'm not going to say away. anything about it. That's okay. You your know number what? two. What could this be? I'm honestly interested to know. My number two is Smart House. I love Smart House. Okay, good. <laughs> Smart House was a freaking awesome movie. And everybody with their Alexa and Google Home now ain't still got nothing on Smart House. Yeah, no. Dude, she, like, cooked dinner. She cooked dinner. Do you, like... They're like, I want a snack. And it's like, mm, let, let me just open up this countertop and give you a rotisserie of snacks. Yeah. Enjoy. Here. Here's your smorgasbord of snacks. Choose. 
but that movie was also kind of scary and it yes. kind of like um foreshadows like the in- like the the threat of intelligent technology like the artificial intelligence yeah it's like a disney version of It'll a black mirror over. episode yes <laughs> it is that is such a great comparison it's a disney black mirror episode yeah because it gets a little freaky there for a while yep like this ai falls in love with this family and like truly believes she is their mom what's her name pam pam is it pam pat 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 it, pat. it is pat. pat it's pat um and that's kind of scary mm-hmm. can you imagine if siri were just like i love you i am i am with you well that's like i mean i've i've read articles and heard horror stories of like the alexa and the google homes like they listen well and like you know, you having conversation with people and it just gives input and just knowing that it's just been listening and chilling and, or, you know, the people who have, they'll be watching TV and Alexa will just be like, how's your, how are you liking this episode? It's like, whoa, I didn't ask you a question. It's like, don't Alexa, don't ask me that shit ever again in your life. Yeah. Alexa, don't talk to me. Yeah. Don't speak unless spoken to. I, I'm like, like, that's the whole point of this app or the, this technology and. Nope. Well, I mean, have you had that in like, so a lot of people are talking about that they have spoken conversations with people about something and then they go on Instagram and they see an ad for oh, something they were talking the about and like they didn't research it, mm-hmm. they didn't Google that shit, nothing. Mm-hmm. And Instagram is just creeping on conversations. I'm probably going to get an ad after this about like Halloween Town or probably. some shit or like Joey Lawrence is going to be suggested for me to follow. I, I don't know why I don't follow him yet, but I'm pretty sure I don't. And for anyone wondering, you know, how does that even occur, just as a side note, when you download an application, usually there's a terms and agreements, and one of those little lines says access to microphone and speakers. Yeah, and you're just like, okay, sure. You want to see your memes, you're going to hit okay. I do want to see the memes. The same writer from Collider that ranked Horse Sense at 71 out of the 99 movies ranked Smart House at number three. Oh. She said, arguably the most iconic of the entire Disney Channel original movie catalog, Smart House iconic. is the unlikely futuristic family drama nobody knew that they needed. Smart House is a Disney Channel original movie perfected. I mean, that's it's well put. It is that it is the futuristic family mm-hmm. movie that you would never thought you it, needed. I think you nailed it when you when you said Disney Black Mirror. Yeah, it, I mean it. Oh, that was such a good movie. It, it is really good. It makes you think. And it was also really cool. It was really cool. I mm-hmm. wanted to be that kid. I know. I wanted, I wanted that, that house. I wanted house. a Pat. Yeah. I love Smart House. You spill your Cheerios or some wine on They're the floor. Like, bloop, bloop. Gone. Be great. Especially when you're, you're our age and you're drinking and you spill something. You're like, whoa, whoa. Done. Or if you have dogs running around interrupting your podcast, she can maybe throw them the damn ball. She could. She's done it. Yeah. She's proven that. Take them out, Pat. They need to go well, I, can't, I can't remember that actress's name right now, but she she's, is amazing. Um, she's iconic. Kathy Siegel. Yes. 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 I was going to say um, she's great. She, Bundy. She plays moms very well in, in well, shows and movies. Yes. Time for my number one. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go with the number one. Are Brink. you ready? Are you ready? Brink. <gasps> Brink. 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 Because blades are cool, man. Team X blades, team pup and suds. Yes. Yes. My, me and like my two older siblings were obsessed with Brink and we would always blade after we felt so cool (laughs) and inspired. And like Eric Von Detten was cute back in the day. And he said something in that movie and I can't, now I can't remember what it was, but we used to say it all the time. Just like one of those quotes that stick with you. Yeah. Well, obviously not not enough. It's like my potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> it was like what was it? Just like was it like shut up and blade or something like that? Something along That's those so lines. So nineties. <laughs> it th- that film is so nineties. What is it? It's like Eric Von Denton is Brank, and then there's the girl Gabriella. And there's another boy, I forget his name, and then you have Team X Blades. And they're the bad guys. That's right, Rowdy. We don't like Team X Blades. No. Uh oh, you uh oh. I I acknowledge them and I'm gonna get You can't look at them. Don't make eye contact with the dogs. (laughs) Um but yeah, Brink was like our 
our thing for sure. That that movie sticks out with me the most um, of all the Disney Channel originals, just because it was legit influential in my day to day life, especially during the summers. We would go out and rollerblade and pretend we were like Brink and Gabriella and race and try to like do lame tricks off the curb and think we were so cool Mm -hmm. and if my brother ever hears this he'll be like no man i actually was a really good blader and i did do cool tricks but no we didn't we just thought we did we just thought we yeah uh eric von deaton the voice of Denton. denton the voice of sid from toy story yeah yeah everyone Denton. he was really cute back in the day see because there's a theme here to all my disney channel originals um yeah i had a crush on him but who didn't I have a crush on a Disney Channel original <laughs> at this point? But that movie was so much fun. I love it. I would. I wish. I'm sure I could probably find it on YouTube and watch it. And I really want to now because I thought that movie was so cool. I thought it was awesome. I wore like the baggy jeans and stuff with my blades, and I was like, "Man, I'm so fucking <laughs> awesome!" Like, look at me rollerblade down the sidewalk. <laughs> God, I'm cool. Yeah, and now like rollerblading's lame. I almost hit somebody leaving work the other day rollerblading across the road. It's I saw him getting coffee today. Oh my god! Of course, was he on rollerblades? Does he? Oh god, that means he rollerblades a trail to work. What a miserable. Wait, person. someone rollerblades to work. Somebody rollerblades to work. Somebody out there rollerblades to work. <laughs> like in our office? Uh, I don't think like our building. Office. I don't know, because I hit them crossing the road trail thing. Oh. So they might be further down. Wow, blading to work. They're so cool. I, <laughs> I wonder if they play the Brink soundtrack every morning. They're just like, <laughs> fuck yeah. Could you imagine? Blade it up. We should flag him down and Yeah, I want to, we should get him a Team X Blade shirt <laughs> and give it to him. Like for your dedication, you're now sponsored. We appreciate your support. Yeah, but then we're all Team Pup and Sud, so really, there's a rivalry. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, he does it. We should get some rollerblades and take some breaks at work and go rollerblade. Go rollerblade! Oh my, it's we could be so cool. Think we could make rollerblading cool again. Yeah. yeah. Oh man! Oh, in the empty parking lot, go back and do tricks back. Dude, there. just like, just like <laughs> jumping just over a stick. The windows watching yeah. us. We're just like. Hmm. <laughs> But man, I'm so cool. I just jumped that stick in the road. I think we can do that. <laughs> yeah, we could. I mean, I will. Hey, Siri, set a reminder for me to look up rollerblades later. Okay, I'll remind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <We're>... you, Smart House. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Smart House, we're now going to pull a brink and get some blades. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be great. All right, so now that I've given my number one, I know exactly what your number one is. Dun, 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 dun. We're all in this together. No. It's High School Musical, Brooke. No, it's My not. number one, no matter what anybody says, thinks, feels, regardless of how basic that is <laughs> or what not, High School Musical, I believe, is my favorite Disney Channel original movie. And I think... One, the storyline was fun as hell, and the music, the soundtrack to that movie was... I, I, There's not, like... It's not one of those where a couple songs I really liked. I liked almost the entire soundtrack, like... Mm. And any time any one of those songs come on, you bet your ass, just like Hakuna Matata, I'm gonna be up dancing along and singing to it. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I think I, I was... I missed the boat for High School Musical. I was too old. I think you at were at that point because I was just I think I was just at the point And, you know, some of my friends and peers may disagree and say that I was too old for it as well. But I think I was just at that cusp that I could get away with. It. I, I High School really Musical 2 old. and 3, I was too old for. I was too old for it. I couldn't get into it. I mean, I thank the Lord for that movie because we get Zac Efron's abs now. Thank God. But at what <laughs> at what price? Do we get those abs? Ashley Tisdale. Like, her name is Sharpay in that movie. Is well, it not Sharpay? Well, yeah, she's supposed to be mimicking like the Paris Hilton persona. But Sharpay is a breed of dog. Why Sharpay? I don't know. She should have had a Sharpay. You know what? I bet part of the reason I also love that movie is because, thinking about it now, 
Grease is one of my all-time favorite movies, and it's kind of like a modern-day Disney Grease. No, don't you I'm doing dare. it. I said it. It's done. Don't you dare. It's been recorded. Matt, take that out of this <laughs> podcast. I don't want anyone to hear that blasphemy ever. Grease is a national treasure. <laughs> So don't you compare it to High School Musical <laughs> at all. Those are actually the kids eyes playing. The you just gave me when you said that were so stern and serious. I just can't. I can't. I can't let you slander Grease like that. It's not a slander. I adore Grease. I have the special edition DVD at home. I mean. I don't have the High to, School Musical DVD, but I got Grease. Wow, so why is why is High School Musical even on your list? You don't even own it? Because the soundtrack is awesome. I don't own any of the Disney I got a cell Channel phone. I, I, don't need the, I don't need the movie anymore. Except for Halloween Town, I own that. See, that's what I would own. High School Musical, though, it's one of those I saw a bunch. I don't really care to watch it again. Weren't there like three? Yeah, right? there were three. Did one come out in theaters? Three, three did. did. Number three did? Wow, like, it got so out of control. <laughs> <laughs> That is, I'm pretty sure, the number one most popular Disney movie of all time. So, uh, Disney Channel original movie. So, I pulled this up for you guys. Here are the top 10 most watched, highest rated Disney I Channel original movie. I don't even want to know. Premieres. Number 10 was the Phineas and Ferb movie Across the Second Dimension. What? Phineas Num- and Ferb were chill. Number- That's a Disney original? Yeah. Oh. Number nine was High School Musical. Ugh. Number was nine. Okay. Number eight was Cheetah Girls 2. Mm. Two in Barcelona. Num- uh, <laughs> tied tied at number eight. It was a tie between that and Cadet Kelly. Cadet uh, Kelly was. Eh. Oh uh, man, I yeah. Keep number going. seven was Camp Rock Two: The Final Jam. Stupid. <laughs> I, I've never even heard of that. Six was Jonas Jump Brothers. In. Whatever. Jump in with Corbin Blue. Wasn't he in that? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Cool. Uh, number five was Teen Beach Movie. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, those are little newer ones, aren't they? Uh, number four was Princess Protection Program. Yeah, these are all newer. Number three was Camp Rock. Number two was Wizards of Waverly Palace, the movie. Wizards of Waverly Place. Whatever. <laughs> what? And number one oh. was High School Musical 2, the highest grossing Disney Channel original wow. movie premiere. Oh, so, okay, it was number two that was the highest. Yeah. That makes sense. That one was when they took it up a notch, and actually, I, I did see this one. Let's they be took honest. it up Let's a notch. Honest. That's the one where they start there at the country club, right? I don't know. The, I've the never seen it. The song, I think, is Sharpay. The dog? And her brother. You shouldn't call Ashley Tisdale a dog. Her name is Sharpay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> also, what is she even doing right now? Um, Didn't she start... I don't know. Hillary Duff's doing well. She's like she's doing really well. I mean, it's she's, Hillary Duff. She has, she's making like shirts. She and wasn't shit in as a mom. High School Musical. Let's see what is Ashley Tisdale doing. You know who's not doing so well? She was in a movie this last year. Shia LaBeouf's not doing too well. You know, I, they broke him. They did. They broke him. Disney Channel original. Need to, oh, she got a no child job. star. I'll tell you that much. I want to know, Joe, what, who'd she go to? Does it look good? No, it doesn't look good. Oh. It looks like a pinky finger above her mouth. Ew. <laughs> what? Let me see this now. <laughs> oh, my God. That not, doesn't even look like her. Not good. Not good. N- Nishkeet. No offense. I shouldn't talk shit on somebody, but it's okay when it's surgery. It's not really them. Yeah. <laughs> they had control over that. Yes. Sorry, Ashley Tisdale. You, you Sorry, you Ashley suck. Tisdale. But the rest of you are cool. Zach Efron, keep doing your... Yeah. Keep, Keep doing, doing them routine. sit-ups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking good. We appreciate you. We appreciate your abs. Nick Jonas is doing well, too. The oh, other, the other brothers Jonas. are kind of lame, but Nick Jonas, I'll tell you what. He is looking good. He's doing good. I may say that... He's probably feeling good. I think he gives Zac Efron a run for his money. I, I prefer Nick Jonas over Zac Efron. Yeah. He has a, he has a better face, too. He does. He has a good face. He does. A better personality, I think. He's got like those like... He's humble. Those smoldering eyes. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Did you see him at the Met Gala? Yes. Ooh. Oh, he's fine. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Fine. And she Looking tied it to the good. topic. I did. I did. <laughs> anyway, back to Disney. Um, that is Disney. Is that, um, Nick Jonas. Both Zac Efron and Nick Jonas. And that's where he started. Yeah. So this it, it all works. Disney gave us Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to talk about the children of Disney. Gave us Nick Jonas. Thank you, Disney. 
Yeah, now that we talked about Nick Jonas, I think there's nothing more to talk about. Yeah, I think we've exhausted this. So um, those were our top five Disney Channel original movies. Which ones did we miss that were your favorites? There's only 103 of them to choose from, so I'm sure we've covered it. If we didn't, let us know. Tell us which movies were some of your favorites by emailing us at disneytopodcast at gmail.com or contacting us on our Facebook page, Disneytos. And next week, we will be discussing the 15-year anniversary of arguably the best movie based on a Disney park ride. So stay tuned and be sure to listen. Hey! On October 25th, 1997, Disney Channel premiered Under Wraps, a comedy about a group of kids who discover a mummy in a basement... And the Discovery Channel original movie was born. Can we redo that where you say Disney Channel, not Discovery Channel? <laughs> oh, did I say Discovery? <laughs> yeah. You're listening to the Geekscape Network. 